Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1103. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about how to go from serial number dates to quarters. And then we want to talk about what happens when fiscal quarters and fiscal years don't match up perfectly. For example, January is not in quarter one, it's in quarter four. Now, I've done some other videos on quarters, but let's remind ourselves. And there's actually a, a, a bunch of different formulas we can use. The formula I like to use, and the one that I have a, a video on some various methods, and the one I showed in my Control-Shift-Enter book, hey, we're going to use ceiling. Now, ceiling is a type of function that can round. You give it significance, and it will always go up by a certain amount. But what's the number we're going to round? We're going to use the month function. Now, the month function simply looks at a serial number and gives it the month 4, 5, 6, all the way down to 12, 1, 2, 3, et cetera. Now, we're going to take that month and round it to a certain, we're going to round it up using ceiling to a certain significance. That will be 3. Now, let's just check out what this gives us. Of course, 4 rounded up to the nearest 3 is 6. When I double click and send this down, I'm getting multiples of 3. Now I can simply divide by 3. I'm going to hit F2 in that whole highlighted column. Divide by 3, Control Enter. We get, oh, that sucked the number format. I'm going to use the keyboard Control Shift Grave Accent or tilde to remove all of that date number formatting and get back to general. We can clearly see we have our two, four, five, six months are in the second quarter, threes, fours, that's 10 to 12, and boom, there's our one, January to March. Now, if we needed to get quarter and year together, over here I just have a formula that has year and month. I can simply come over and go the quarter in double quotes, capital Q space, end double quote. That's text in a formula. I'm going to join it with the join symbol ampersand. Get this quarter right here. Join again an ampersand and double quotes. I'm going to space, dash, space, end double quotes, ampersand, and get the year. This is standard. This will give us all the way down quarter two for 2013. 3, 4, and notice down here, quarter 1, all three of them are in the proper year, the 214. Now, what happens if you have a fiscal quarter? So, for example, 4 through the next year's January, February, March, those all should be considered quarter 1, 2, 3, and this one will be 4. Not only that, but they should all have the year. So fiscal quarter. Now, there's a couple ways we can do this. And one way is to notice, if I built a lookup table doing approximate lookup, and I was to look up the month number, 1, 2, and 3 would be return. If this was the first column of the lookup table, this is the column we're going to return something from. 1, 2, 3 will give us 4. 4, 5, 6 will give us 1, et cetera. So this will be an approximate match lookup. Now check this out. I actually learned this from Barry Houdini. We're going to look up, and I'm going to put the month right in this lookup value of lookup. Now check this out. Lookup has two options. We're going to use the second one. You can have a vector and a result vector, but we're going to use the second one. Now, this will give us you know, 1 to 12, comma, but now we're going to look it up in array. Now, what's cool about lookup is you don't need to put a column number, and it only does approximate match. Now, you do have to realize that when you give it a table in the array, it always takes from the last table. Here, there's only two of them, so it'll take from the last. If there was three, it would take from the third. That is it. I'm going to F4, close parentheses, Control Enter, double click, and send it down. So there we have our ones for April, May, and June. And down here we get our fours for the first, second, and third month. Now, if this really was something that your business had hard coded in it, it's not going to change, check this out. 
I don't want to have this over here, so I'm going to highlight the array and hit the F9 key to evaluate that. Notice it puts array syntax, curly brackets house the array, commas mean columns, semicolon means row. So notice 1, 4, 1, 4 are separated by columns. Semicolon means go down to the next row. So I can enter this. That is an array constant right there. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. All right, so that'll give us our fiscal quarters. Now, I'm going to look at a different formula here because I've been learning Power Pivot. And Power Pivot doesn't have all the functions that you would like from an Excel spreadsheet. So um, let's go ahead and use the if function and say month. Now, this formula will work both in a column in a spreadsheet and over in Power Pivot. Hey, I'm going to take the month of that and ask the question, are you less than 4? That means 1, 2, 3. Well, comma, the value if true, 4. Otherwise, and we're going to do that same ceiling again, ceiling of the month. Notice the screen tip says serial number. It goes from a serial number comma 3, close parentheses, divided by 3. Now, that's not quite what we want. I'm in a backspace because the value of false. Notice that will give us right here 1, 1, 1. That'll be taken up by the 4. But the 2, 2, 2 I really want as 1. So I'm going to subtract 1, close parentheses, control enter, double click, and send it down. So that works down here. I love that. That's totally cool in an Excel spreadsheet, but maybe you have to think of something uh, different over in Power Pivot, and that one will work. Now, the fiscal year. Notice we need all the way, or, uh, yeah, so these fours down here, if we were to do a straight year, it'll give us 2014. So when we get to one, two, three months, we need to subtract one from our year. So equals year. And if I copy that all the way down, I would like all the way to here, 13s. Those are fine. But here I need to subtract 1 only when the month is 1, 2, 3. We're going to use a little Boolean logic here. I'm going to subtract. And then in parentheses, month. And I'm just going to ask the question, hey, month, are you less than 4? Now, what is it going to do when it's 1, 2, or 3? This will evaluate as true. Any other month will get false. Now, how can you convert trues and falses to ones and zeros? Any math operation. So we just subtract the true, and boom. It'll only subtract 1, because this will give us a true, which equates to 1 when the month is 1, 2, or 3. Double click and send it down, and it alters. So right down here, you can see. And we could even uh, click a cell and Alt-MV to evaluate. Click uh, Evaluate or Enter so we get the year. Watch this. Boom, there is our true. When we subtract it with a math operation, it will give us a 1 and get 2013. Now we can combine this the same way we did before, quarter or the Q or quarter or whatever you want. And then we'll combine this year. Boom, double click and send it down. And so now we are getting what looks like the correct results. F quarter 4, 2013, even though the serial number says month 1 and year 2014. All right, uh, there's a little fun with uh, cor fiscal quarters, fiscal years. All right, we'll see you next trick.